This is the book of Sirach, chapter 37, verse 12. But be continually with a godly man whom thou knowest to keep the commandments of the Lord, whose mind is according to thy mind, and will sorrow with thee if thou shalt miscarry. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Kakwadash for allowing me to do another lesson. Yahweh is who the word normally calls God, and Yahweh Shai is his son, who the word normally calls Jesus Christ, and there's no God beside them. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And this lesson is going to go into how beautiful camp is, dwelling among the, amongst the Akim in the spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. In which when I say camp, I'm talking about the Saturdays in which, or you know, whichever day of the week brothers go out, in which we go out there in the um, in the streets to preach the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the people. And you know, it's, it's it's very important for us to pay attention and to be there in the spirit, because not only are we feeding others but we're also being fed you know I can attest that you know this week just trying to manage every you know what I'm saying everything you got to do throughout the week stay in the spirit so on and so forth and um you know as the brother was speaking he was saying how hey sometimes you just got to go off of faith man you can't micromanage everything you know and it's a very it's very stressful to do you know, and even though, you know, we know these things, there's times that, you you know, of course, being in the flesh, you forget. All right. And as a brother was going into, we coming into the time where there's uh, it's not going to be in your. Everything is not going to be in your grasp to where you can handle the situation. OK, so, of course, you know, the brother also gave the balance to where. You know, don't just be careless. Do, you know, do what you got to do. But at the same time, you know that we live off of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, and I brought that up because, again, this is, that was something I was dealing with throughout the week. Going to show you that in the midst of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, in the count, that's, camp is the council of the Heavenly Father. That's the mist of that's the mindset of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai. You know? This is why, you know, hey, three brothers can have the same scripture. We not talk, you know, we may talk amongst each other, but we're not uh at that particular point in time, you know, it's the spirit working with all you know, it's the spirit wanting wanting that scripture to come out. So it's the spirit of Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai speaking through us. Okay, and let the counsel of thy own heart stand, for there is no man more faithful unto thee than it. For a man's mind is sometimes wont to tell him more than seven watchmen that sit above in high tower. All right, so above in, in your mind, it's a war zone. You know, it is it's literally a war zone going on up there, and you have to pray constantly. All right. And, and constantly pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to keep you rooted. All right. I always think like to think of the precept um, where King David said, "Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and uphold me with thy free spirit." Okay. Like, and you know that for me, that's a beautiful prayer, as we always go into Psalms fifty-one and nine through twelve. But I uh, personally, I like to harp on that uh, eleven and twelve more so. Okay, but this is um going up for that Proverbs. So like it, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter twenty, verse five. Counsel in the heart of a man is like deep water. All right, and when deep water is never ending, man. Like you go into the ocean, that's deep, you know. But there's levels to the ocean, man. It's never ending. So a lot of times in your mind. You know, the, the, the solution could be very simple. But you're trying to weigh all, you know, you're trying to weigh all the possible outcomes. Meanwhile, by speaking with a brother, he, he lays it out clearly. Like, it's really not that much, you know. And, um, you know, this is why, 
seeking counsel, calling brothers. You know, especially now, you know, as as things are getting ready to be shut down, we should be close with Doc and talking to him throughout the week, if you can, you know, seeing how brother's doing, you know. But um, camp is where we all together, you know, because sometimes you may not be able to brother schedule with this like this and another brother schedule like that, you know. But camp is a time where whatever we, we've been working on throughout the week, you know, you can bring that talent to the game, so to speak. But a man of understanding will draw it out. All right, a man of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna is gonna give you that partic- that right counsel. And speaking of my partic- particular situation, the brother didn't know what I was going through throughout the week, but you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that confirmed. You know how I should how how I should be walking. All right, going forward. So back at Sirach thirty-seven and fifteen, and above all this, pray to the Most High that He will direct thy way in truth. Okay, so pray to you. How about Shimei? I was shy. That he will allow you to see and make the right decisions, you know, and to not make haste. The scriptures say, "Make not haste in time of trouble," because eventually, hey, you, you, and it goes to show you with camp. Eventually, your answers, your 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 problems will be answered. The scriptures say in Romans, um, no, First Corinthians. 10 I think 10 and 13 That the most high will wake, make a way to, to you to escape For you to escape out of your temptations Right 1 Corinthians 10 and, 10 and 13 They had no temptation taking you But such as is common to men But God is faithful who will not suffer you To be tempted above that ye are able But what will the temptation Also make a way to escape That ye may be able To bear it Okay so we just gotta hold on all right, throughout the week or whatever, whatever, however long it may be, until those 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 prayers be answered. And I'm noticing that it's being answered a lot quicker. You know, it's a beautiful thing to walk with Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 9. Psalms, chapter 119, verse 9. Wherewith shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. And was it said in Jeremiah 3.15? That he gave us pastors according to his heart. Which shall feed us with knowledge and, and wisdom. Alright. Knowledge and understanding. Okay. So you got the problem. The brothers got the knowledge and the understanding. You know. Or vice versa. They may have a problem. And the spirit, upon, the spirit will be upon you. To have the knowledge and understanding of that particular problem. You know, and again, you may not even know exactly what that brother is going through, but the spirit, as the scriptures say, um, what's that Romans eight? That the you know the Lord maketh the intercession. Romans 8 and 26 Likewise The spirit also helpeth our infirmities For we know not what we should pray for As we ought But the spirit itself maketh intercession for us With groanings which cannot be uttered And he that searcheth the hearts Knoweth what is in the mind of the spirit 
because he maketh intercession for the saints according to the will of God. Okay? So really, our main thing, no matter what you're going through, your main thing should be making it to Ken. All right? And throughout the week, trying to stay in tune with the apostles and elders' live streams. Okay? And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. Hey, so if that, Lord willing, you are can edify, shalom to the elect.